Andira, what more did we hear from the Africa CDC on Tuesday? Jen, what we've heard so far is that 380,000 doses of the Mpox vaccine will be landing in DRC on the 1st of September. And they're working to secure more doses because of how vulnerable DRC is and its people. And we're likely to see healthcare workers and children being given priority. Also, earlier this week, we saw consolidated effort from the World Health Organization begin, and they launched a preparedness and a response plan. And they're seeking about $87 million. And this will be used in the first six months to help mitigate human-to-human -human Transmissions. What we know from the CDC also is that um, so far they've reported 23,000 cases, up from 19,000 cases last week. And Gabon is the latest country to report these cases. So it's beginning to spread across the region. And the reason we find ourselves in this situation is that Mpox has been endemic in 2023, 20, and 2022. But um, several countries stockpiled the vaccine. Africa did not have any, and now the continent is vulnerable. Yeah, and, and there's there's trying to uh, not repeat what we've seen uh, in the past. I mean, then what what is the expectation then with the vaccine rollout, Andiro? I, there's still a lot of questions about what who exactly can get vaccinated, but but what is expected here? Mm -hmm. A couple of things we need to factor in. First of all, if you look at a country like DRC, it's a very big country. It has many refugees and also it has fragile healthcare system and infrastructure is not very good. So a lot of work will be done to ensure that they can be able to roll it out seamlessly. Also, the skepticism towards the vaccine and community engagement is ongoing to ensure that by the time the vaccines hit the ground, the people are ready to take them. And Bloomberg spoke to Bavarian Nordic who say that just one shot of the vaccine is enough to give you up to 80 percent of protection. The African CDC says we're not likely to see a closure of borders, but up surveillance to meet to get human to human transmission across the borders. What is important, Jen, is that the more this unfolds, it's becoming clearer and clearer that Africa needs to build capacity so that it can begin manufacturing vaccines on the continent to cut costs and ensure ready availability when needed.